This movie is awesome. In The Motive, an innocent, helpless writer is struggling for inspiration. His wife, on the other hand, is a celebrated writer, so he has to watch her get everything that life won't give him. She is a talented and desirable woman. He, on the other hand, is a complete and irredeemable failure. To add to his humiliation, he catches her cheating on him because of their dog, who is the best wingman I've ever seen. After he and his wife separate because she's basically a prostitute, he realizes he can only write good things if he plagiarizes real life. So he basically starts IRL shitposting and manipulating his neighbors to get good stories. It's kind of like if you fucking hate yourself and voluntarily chose to work at a call center. At first you try to do your job correctly and rise up the ranks to a better role. Then you realize your life isn't going anywhere, so you start giving customers blatantly false information for your own amusement. But I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm a good boy. His writing coach makes an offhand comment about writing naked and he takes it seriously, so there is full frontal male nudity in this fun, friendly, family film. I like my channel, so I've decided to show B-roll from the Academy Award winning Mexican love story Rubber instead. My favorite neighbor of our main character is a woman that has a very friendly, engaging attitude towards immigrants. Niña, y como todos los inmigrantes, pues, viven por encima de sus posibilidades. Claro. Que yo no lo digo por criticar, ¿eh? De verdad que yo no soy racista. Ya sabemos que los latinos son muy chillones y muy borrachines, pero a mí no me dan problema. Los peores son los moros. ¿Vive algún moro aquí? Hoy no, por Dios. ¿Qué va? This film also has some interesting shots. My favorite being when a character has a penetrating moment with another man's wife and the camera ironically pans up to my lord and savior. There's also an overly long scene of the middle-aged neighbor I showed before dancing and melodramatically singing, but it's so bizarre I can't even be mad at it. I adore the main character. I never knew what kind of weird shit he would say next. Dijo que merecíais que una enfermedad contagiosa aniquilara a todos vuestros hijos. Como hizo el SIDA con los maricones. Salve. Because he treated so badly in the beginning of the film, I really have a tough time holding him accountable for being a pathological liar. A tu amigo le tienen que dar muchísimo más dinero del que le están ofreciendo. Pero por ley. O sea que si va a juicio tiene todas las posibilidades de ganar. Lo siento, Enrique. No hay ni una sola posibilidad de que se acepte el recurso. Also, I adore the ending. It seems out of left field at first, but if you go back and pay attention, you can see little clues dropped here and there. Because of that, this is a film you need to pay attention to. I don't want you in your Game Boy Advance with this on in the background. I'll find out, and I'll come to your house. When you hear your doorbell ring, you're already dead. Anyway, if you like this content for some reason, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. I don't for pain anymore.